Welcome to the Migsy Bear channel. Uh, thank you for spending some minutes with me here today. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about healthcare administration bachelors and a little bit about the associates, what the projection is for you, what the requirements are for the degree, um, and we'll just jump into it. So thank you for watching this video, hanging out with me. Let's look into it. All right, guys. So I've tried to do this video a couple times and I keep just fumbling over myself. So I'm going to break it into three parts. First, I'm going to go over the requirements for the degree and just talk a little bit about uh, what each class is or, or, you know, whatever you need to do to actually graduate with a degree. And uh, then I'll talk about, uh, I guess, job, job opportunity and at what level of healthcare administration, you can uh, imagine what kind of money or what kind of responsibility. So first of all, let's just look at this thing here. This is my degree audit. I am coming up on finishing this thing finally, which I'm uh, I'm in the the in, the end stretch here. So I'm super excited. I'm currently enrolled in uh, 12 credit hours this semester. I'll have 24 uh, credit hours after this uh, Christmas, starting over again. I'm planning on taking 12 in the well, 12 to 15 in the uh, in the spring, and then in the summer, I'm gonna try to knock out the rest. We'll see how that goes, but hopefully by uh, a little less than uh, than 10 months, nine months in there, I'll be done with this thing. So, moving on. Uh, let's see. So you have to have a. An associates to apply to this thing for the school that I'm going to some schools or bigger schools I'm sure that you can just start off in and apply for this program and get accepted into it and uh, and do your thing so you have to have your Englishes your uh, your composition rhetoric and I'm gonna do this kind of quick because this is kind of boring uh, music appreciation American literature that you can see these humanities these numbered uh, sections here just like they correlate with up here you have to have a certain amount of uh, hours earned and you can see here the first uh, six require the first six categories require six hours a piece and every class is three hours so these are two classes a piece now these if you look at these two down here these required core courses and and uh, concentration courses these are uh, bachelor level classes that I have not taken so I, I need roughly just the bachelor level classes and that's it. These lower level degree requirements, these 221 columns, these are for the associates. So these are associate level uh, classes for the, for the degree requirement. These two columns right here are bachelor level uh, classes required for the, uh, for the bachelor. So just a quick explanation here and it's, it's nothing crazy. All these classes are not that hard. You just have to do them and you have to pay attention to them. So art appreciation, intro to uh, psychology, whatever. Um, legal environment was actually pretty fun. I learned a lot. And these are these are basic legal classes. They are nothing like people that go to law school or anything. They're surface level, super superficial, super easy. Um, they're actually kind of fun because you can you can learn about like different legal cases and stuff and it's not too intensive depending on your uh, you know professor or whatever so these are the these are more or less the bachelor level classes that I'm taking right now the required core courses and the concentration courses so these are the classes that I need to get done plus three of these down here so these are the ones I'm working on currently enrolled in these two currently enrolled in these two so we'll see how that goes um, it's it's really not that bad so quick overview you need an associates or you need to get into this program uh, without an associates at a different school I guess uh, bigger schools might might do it that way uh, you need some Englishes you need some just BS classes to fill the the spot here and you can read these I'm sure I'm just kinda quick overview in here mathematics gotta have at least two classes college algebra had to be at least one for me um, I'm probably going to do the lazy thing and just get uh, pre-algebra. I'll take pre-algebra or I'll take uh, these uh, liberal arts maths are so easy. These are the easiest classes in the school. This one right here is like adding and subtracting fractions. 
liberal arts math one it's like can you do two plus two that's what this math is uh, natural sciences I had to take a chemistry why do I have to take a chemistry for business degree you tell me uh, intro to biology again you know just gotta you gotta check the box uh, social sciences uh, sociology principles of economics this is a class that I did not pay attention to it was super easy did not study for um, did not take seriously and I ended up making a 79 and I was so mad at myself because I could have easily made an A I was just shooting for a B because I had a lot going on and that's what you get when you get complacent you get bad grades so Anyway, uh, general education, art appreciation, there you go, whatever, some BS classes. These are fun classes, I'm telling you. Once you get into the, at least for me, if, if you get into your bachelor level classes and you don't enjoy them, then you might want to reevaluate what you're doing because it's, this is literally not what you'll be doing in, in your work environment. I currently work in uh, healthcare. Uh, as a patient access rep, I work in the ER and orthopedics and outpatient registration. And I don't use any of this. I probably wouldn't. I would use general concepts as a manager. But really what this whole degree is um, for you or what will do for you is get you into um, is get you into the hospital, get you into maybe a maybe a uh, middle management position if you already have prior experience um, and give you the opportunity to grow so it's it's not going to guarantee you a spot anywhere and I wouldn't look at it like that um, but it will open some doors for you personally I'm looking at uh, at federal jobs that I, I need a bachelor's to apply to um, I have prior military experience um, so I'm hoping that helps a little bit and we'll see what happens with that but just because you get this thing doesn't mean you're going to be you know, hitting the lick right off the, the first day. So, uh, these are pretty fun classes. Uh, uh, healthcare risk management is okay. Strategic man management, I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, three of these. I hate ethics classes. They're so pointless to me. Everybody looks at things differently. Everybody has different standards. Um, y if you can tell the difference between right and wrong, you know, that's that's pretty much what you need. Regardless if you're doing the right or wrong thing, you you know what you're doing when you're doing it. So, I don't know. We have to do the hoops, though. There's I've taken some classes uh, on, and I'm just going to scroll through this and let you look at it. Um, I'm going to take some classes, or I have taken classes on, like, uh, you know, different populations and respecting different religions and all this stuff. If you don't know how to not discriminate against people for the way that they look or for what they believe, then you probably need to reevaluate yourself. Just saying, um, I don't think that's something, I mean, I guess you have to teach it, but I mean, man, if you, if you don't know that, then there's something wrong with you or you've just been, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody's failed you along the way, but anyway, so I'll leave it right here and we'll talk a little bit about um, we'll talk a little bit about what the different breakdowns of degrees are. Alrighty, so breakdown of degrees. In this uh, field of work in healthcare administration, it's, it's a lot like any other uh, field, I guess, in that there's four different degrees. There is an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and a doctor's degree. The associate's degree will guarantee you well, not guarantee you, but an uh, associate's degree will more than likely grant access into the field. That's kind of what you got to look at it. Uh, you get an associate's, you get your foot in the door, you start working, you start learning uh, whatever department they hire you on. Um, you get familiar about a year in. Uh, you're, you're working on your bachelor's. And then once you get your bachelor's, you have a full understanding of what's going on within that department. And then your bachelor's hits. So your bachelor's is a four-year degree. And what that can do, if you have the, the, the experience in the department, or if you've been working in healthcare administration um, as, a, as a new hire or as an entry-level position, uh, bachelor's will grant you access to um, the first level of management. And when you get into hospitals, and when you get into uh, 
nursing homes, uh, assisted living, uh, all these things have structures and they have levels of management. And management, uh, with my quotation fingers, could mean a lot of different things. Uh, you could be in a team leader position or you could be in a junior manager position, you could be a, a management assistant, um, you could have different levels of, of, uh, of management throughout the, throughout the uh, healthcare environment. For example, I work at a very small hospital and my boss has two bosses and then it's the CEO. So I have three people in between me and the CEO level of pay grades and within those levels of pay grades there's different jobs. So needless to say it gets a little bit more complex than just you being a manager and then you being the owner of the hospital or whatever but um, anyway so entry-level management position uh, you're looking at with the bachelors when it really starts to get nice is when you get into the masters people of administration when you start having a masters of business administration or mass masters of healthcare administration that's when things start looking uh, really well pay wise and then they also start looking really uh, stressful work wise and the reason why they get paid so much is because they have to deal with a whole bunch of, uh, of stress they have to manage uh, they have to manage projects you know maybe the hospitals um, adding a parking garage and somebody's gotta oversee that construction uh, maybe the hospital is adding a floor or they're adding a new um, radiology wing to the hospital or maybe uh, patient access is expanding and they need to add um, four more rooms for patient access reps to check in people to the hospital or you know maybe they need two more uh, surgery rooms and they have to figure out how to make those out of nowhere all these growing pains and all these um, additions to the hospital require somebody to oversee them and they require somebody to staff them and they require budgets they require uh, you know somebody to be on it all the time and know what's going on and then also that has that information has to be reported up the chain to the the board of directors or to the revenue cycle manager or to the CFO or whoever is in charge of that uh, liaison running those uh, projects so that's that's where you get into the management with the uh, master's degree stuff and personally that's what I'm interested in um, I've, I've had a military job before and where I was in a leadership position and I've had other jobs to where I was in management positions and I enjoy it um, there's there's people that prefer to be in the entry-level position and that's completely fine you need those people and then there's people that want to lead and there's people that want to move up the chain and you need those people too so there's I'm not saying one's better than the other but um, what I desire is to move uh, move up in responsibility I want more responsibility I want more pay I want more uh, people you know I, I just want to uh, I want to progress so that's that's my own personal thing and that's what uh, that's where the master's level really gets you and, and really even the the bachelors um, it gets you a ticket to open or it gives you a key to open the door to uh, to take on more responsibility and to be compensated for it so that's something to think about and then to, so quick recap you have associates entry level bachelors entry level management position masters entry level junior administrator so that's whenever you start really doing the things and then you have a doctorates um, that you can get in uh, business or business administration and to tell you the truth I don't know a lot of people with uh, doctorates uh, running around doing those type of things um, usually they stop with the master's degree. I don't know why. I haven't talked to anybody really to give you any feedback on that, and I will get back to you on that. But I would imagine it's it's like anything else. It's just a cap. You know, a, a doctorate really doesn't do anything for them at that position or at that level. Once they get the master's, you know, they're pretty much they they have reached the educational requirements to not put a limit on their career. And then at that point, it's just how much responsibility they take on. And how much uh, they're willing to they're willing to, to push themselves to advance in that career field so 
Anyway, this is a quick overcap. I uh, hope it helps somebody uh, to, to recap the video here. We went over what it takes to graduate, what you can expect with what degree, and that's about it. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you liked it, if you thought any of it was interesting, please comment. Uh, the comments really help me out. Even the likes help me out. Uh, the views definitely help. But the way that the algorithm works is the more activity there is on one video, the more likely somebody else will see it. So thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, leave me a comment or something, and I'll see you in the next one.